You know what? We're gonna have to set a countdown timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. Good luck. What's up? It's your boy Zocardier. Um that probably doesn't even matter right now. We'll talk about that later. What really matters is what's been going on. It's June 2020, right? We started off this year rocky, right? Really off. Nipsey Hustle, fast forward, a couple more deaths, you know, Kobe Bryant, coronavirus. Still kicking to this day. Civil unrest. Civil unrest. Um, George Floyd. Breonna Taylor. Man. 2020's been a year. 2020's been a year. But you know what? What remained consistent? Google. So we're going to be searching a lot of things really quick, getting into it. Because we can't just go off of a voice. We can't. We really got to go look at it. I'm pretty sure you're going to be doing it too. As you know how we always do it at, at the lookout. We're going to be looking at, <laughs> it's astonishing if you think about it, time after time after time, event after event, setting after setting, homie was just sleeping, all he did was fall asleep, on the path, we'll get there. We'll get there, trust me. Um, I've been taking notes. Welcome back, yo. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, on such tragedy that we do have to talk about, but it must be mentioned. It has to be mentioned. What took place shook not only our nation, everybody else's nation. Once again, showing the light of the darkness that we have simply for a color of a skin. Yeah, I know, right? All because of that. We'll get there. All right, so. Let's get to a fun fact. Let's get to a fun fact. Um... We have had the police department for over 150 years. That's a fun fact right there. Um, with that being said, <laughs> with that being said, as a matter of fact, let's jump straight into it. Let's just, you know what? Let's just do this. Um, we'll go to Google. We're in Google. Uh, let's let's do this. Let's just do this. G E. Cool. All it takes is G E. George Floyd. Probably gonna be the first second. More than likely, is gonna be the first search that you find. If you get something different, you're probably racist. I don't know. We'll find a study on that, but I don't know. All right, look. George Floyd. Boom. All right. Pfft. Me, honestly, I think you should always block it, but I don't know. They can find you or whatever. Anyways, um, we're here. George Floyd. For those of you who do not know, let's just fix this here. Make it easy. George Floyd. All right. On... May 25th, 2020. It feels like that was so long ago, but it wasn't. Not at all. <laughs> like, 
just happened. And on top of that, another tragedy or more tragedies has happened in between time, right? So we're here, it's June. What took place on May 25th, 2020, George Floyd, a 46 year old black man was killed in Minneapolis, Minnesota during an arrest for allegedly using a counterfeit bill, a counterfeit $20 bill. George Floyd died over a counterfeit $20 bill. Which goes to really question, you know, the value of our lives, right? Why everyone's saying black lives matter. But we've heard enough of the We've heard enough of the reasonings, right? Cool. We'll just stick to what we're doing. All right. That happened May 25th. We've been protesting since then, right? Not just here. That's the best thing about it, right? And we'll come right back to George Floyd. As a matter of fact, we'll just go into a new tab. We'll do... um protest protest wait probably spelt it wrong boom <laughs> crazy so we're gonna jump into trump the reason why i put protest and this i like this segment it's kind of like a <laughs> google such a beautiful tool they're evil but the tool is beautiful I digress. Check it. Yo, look what Trump said. Trump threatened, mind you. Okay, so I'm all over the place. I get it, right? And I really hope the people who I'm talking to right now, you've been following along, right? Ideally, I'm pretty much talking to you, to, to you all who's been following along so i'm already projecting that somewhere along the line you have a good friend in your life who's informing you on what's going on because maybe you're pretty busy hey it's COVID 19 if you didn't know right speaking of COVID 19 let's take it back a little bit let's take it back to february boom lost my job whatever right Thinking I was, you know, you know what? I'm going to be all right. Whatever. I'm going to just go back to square one. You know, like what any black guy would do, right? Just go back to square one and work your way back up. Next thing you know, everybody else and their mom lost their job. So now, boom. (laughs) Everyone's on edge pretty much still on edge if not at a heightened we're probably just starting to kind of simmer down but it's very high up there let's not forget COVID-19 I digress check it out the pandemic struck a lot of people died at first we were told plenty of things and look I'm not blaming you I'm just as frustrated as you too, right? We have organizations that we uphold to a very high standard, very high, oh so high, way up there, past the sky. But they keep giving us conflicting information, case in point, we'll come right back here. No problem, control T, gives us a new tab. We're gonna go to CDC. CDC. As you all know, CDC stands for the Centers of Disease Control. This is where all of the diseases and, and, and bad icky bacteria, viruses stuff, it somehow, the data's all there. If you wanna find out the cure for HIV, it's probably in that building. You want to find out the cure for Ebola, all of this stuff, take a trip to Atlanta, Georgia. They're right there. Now, let's let's pause right here. CDC. 
currently right now, as we speak, there's a lot of stuff going on. But <laughs> dealing with coronavirus. Now, that's just, you're probably just hearing it right now like, okay, what is he talking about? We'll come back here, right? Control T, a new tab, no worries. There's another organization, right? And we love them, right? Because we've uphold them to a very high standard, way up there, so far up there, past the scaling, touching the sky, called the World Health Organization, also known as WHO, WHO. World Health Organization, founded 1948, headquartered Geneva, Switzerland. Fancy. The World Health Organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for international public health. The WHO Constitution, which establishes the agency's governing structure and principles, states its main objective as the attainment by all peoples of the highest possible level of health. Breaking all of this down, these are the people who we trust way up there who are supposed to oversee the public health. You're probably thinking about what's public health. The difference between public health and doctors, very simple. Doctors are the ones that are treating those individuals who are sick, our frontline workers, those nurses who are pretty much doctors and who should be promoted to doctors when all of this is over, risking their lives, um, doing what doctors don't do, but we still love the doctors, but hey, we're just trying to spread all the power and all the, you know, all the good stuff. So I digress there as well. Think about it. The WHO organization, what they do is prevent people from ending up in the hospital or ending up like those people who are going to the hospital. So they're telling us what to do. Let's not forget, not too long ago, these were the same people telling us, hey, you know what, it's not mandated, you don't really need a mask. Some people you know, and I won't say me, but me and majority of people and majority of our listeners. And I would hope to think that what we saw that was going on in Asia when it struck in Wuhan, right? I hope to God we didn't think that it couldn't happen to us because look at us now, right? Besides Brazil, and we'll come back to this tab, right? Control T, no problem. We'll come right back to it, I promise, right? Um, COVID-19 uh, stats, no problem. No problem at all. COVID-19 stats. Here are the stats for coronavirus. This is the United States. I remember when everything was normal still, and there was just a couple of isolated cases from people who were traveling back from Wuhan, China, or just traveling back in general from that region, right? Now, look at the colors. Forget the colors. Forget the colors, because I know people who are literally saying the numbers are a lie, blah, 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 all of that, that, it don't matter. No problem. We'll, we'll, you know what, the, forget the map, forget the colors. Really what the colors is letting you know is where all the individual states are, the darker it is, the more harsh the numbers are, right? Texas, Florida, Oklahoma. We'll keep that, keep that little bit in your head, right? So, check it. In the U.S., if I'm not mistaken, we should be at 118,000 deaths, pushing to 119K deaths. 
that sucks period first and foremost anyone who has lost someone to COVID-19 we at the lookout sincerely apologize for what this pandemic has brought to you and your family and our condolences go to you all for sure <sighs> let me tell you one little thing can you imagine Do you remember when Trump was playing this off like it was nothing? Gosh, I remember it like it was yesterday. <sighs> Anyways, look at the numbers. The numbers show it all. The numbers really do show it all. Um, okay, so it's showing us Texas. We'll, we'll move out of Texas. What I really want you to look at is Florida, yo. It is busted. Let's take it here. Florida's bad. On a daily, right? Confirmed cases, Miami Dade County, 21,162. That's just in one county, right? Deaths, 822 deaths. That's just in that county. What everyone's saying and what the officials are saying, I won't say everyone, we'll use specific terminologies in this case, I guess. What the officials are stating is, they're stating is that the more tests we have, obviously the number is going up. The craziest thing about that is that <laughs> the ratio of it is urgently high. What I mean by that is out of a, you could take a random sample of people and test them you're guaranteed to have an infection amongst them. It's not like you can have a random set of people and say, wow, no coronavirus. Next set. There's going to be someone infected. And why is this so important? Because the officials in Florida aren't doing nothing about it. They're literally saying, hey, it's uh, you're going to have to save yourself in this case. Now, are they wrong for saying that? You know, here at the lookout, it's a lookout. And what a lookout is, is not just for one individual or for one group of people, it's for all. So we have to show two sides of every story. Are they wrong for not shutting down the economy? One would argue, no, they're not wrong. Because one would argue, can you imagine what it would be like to close the economy again it's it's really tough to it's really tough to grasp it because you're thinking about it and you're like no it, it would people would go crazy more crazy right now on the other side yo we have these frontline workers who were working their souls out of their body 24 7 I hope they're reaping a big check. I pray they do, and they deserve it. But I digress from that. Um, yo, they're scared they're gonna have to go do this all all over again. And we've talked, and we've been, you all been hearing about it, this second wave, but we're also hearing about a story of, oh, there couldn't be a second wave. At least that's what President Trump, the Trump administration has stated. There's no second wave. This is just gonna die itself out. People, other than Brazil, which is getting rocked by it, every other place has come to a managing point of the virus. Remember when Italy? Google's right here. Let me stop. Look, let's check this out really quick. Um, Italy recovering. Italy coronavirus lockdown eases. Remember when Italy was getting, yo, they had them people singing on the balconies to each other. It was locked down. They're in the next phases. Everything is, everything is getting, getting there. The United States. 
let's go back to let's go back <laughs> yo it's bad I'm not gonna even flip yo and just to show all yo look at this look that's still big numbers if you look at we'll look at Italy let's just type in Italy because they were rocked hard look at that look at Italy what does this mean the shape says a lot off rip the shape right there literally shows that it went down because remember during march yo during march in the middle of march going towards april right italy was getting it bad it was bad really bad right but look this went down I'll show you one that's an exception because they're getting rocked. Brazil. Let's look at Brazil. Yeah. Difference, right? Starting off slow. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. No, whoa. What happened here in May? Oh, oh. Skyrocketing right now. That's Brazil. We'll go back. We'll go back home. Let's see. United States. It looks like just one big, huh? Huh. <laughs> Death. And we really got to understand it's not fake. It's real. It's definitely real. So real, so real that Trump, and I'm in this crazy, I haven't even gone through my actual scheduling because I've missed you guys so much. There's so much to talk about. Um, we're almost done too. I got like about eight eight minutes it's crazy there's so much more to talk about but it's okay we're gonna jump through it we'll get to it when we can it's the lookout check it trump wants to have a rally crazy thing this is when we get into the juneteenth hope you had a very beautiful juneteenth i saw you all marching festives doing your thing It was always a holiday, just it wasn't pronounced, or they just probably just didn't see it as such, or it wasn't worth it. It wasn't a Christmas to them. But, you know, we're going to let that slide. It's all good. We're in a good place right now. At least we're in a rebuilding phase. I like to call it the pureness before the renaissance, because we're going to reach a brand new renaissance where the color of the skin won't matter. Can you imagine what type of life that would be like? Pause for a second. Think about it. Where it won't matter. See, for some people, it's really tough to understand that concept because their whole lives, they've lived in a, in a simulated world where the world perceived you as something because of your phenotype, because of how you look, because of your genes. And if you were my shade or on my side of the spectrum, the world automatically sees you and puts you in a bubble. Now in this little bubble that we have is nothing but negative, nothing but preset functions that limits us that we can never see this is the whole world but they limit us to this little tiny circle 
And some would even argue if you're Haitian, of, if you're of Haitian descent, your, your bubble is even smaller. But I digress. Check it. Not all people that look like me fit in that bubble. For the most part, it's a higher percentage that don't fit in that bubble that you've created for us. We're not all killers. We're not all rapists. We're not all... I don't know. All of the other stuff that y'all put in there that y'all think that we're supposed to be, right? Um, what a time to be alive. It's 2020, and I bet you no one else is prepared to drop this year off like we are. But this year is very important. It's so important. It's as important as, I'm just gonna throw it out there, I could be wrong. I could be really wrong. It's just as important when Jesus died. One would argue. You have to understand the totality of being oppressed for so long. Pac said it in a beautiful, beautiful interview. At some point, poor people, you know, people who look like me are going to get tired and we're just going to swallow the rich. If you look at the concept of that and if you've seen what's been going on like I've been seeing for the past three months, two and a half months, Don't let Fox fool you, right? You know, Fox likes to put a narrative. Hey, all media puts out a certain narrative. I could be putting out a certain narrative, right? But don't let no one fool you. But Fox likes to put out a certain narrative that, hey, if you riot, it would change things. No. You have to understand the why before you look at what took place. Right? The why is the most important part or aspect. Now, we're going to be ending soon. It, happy Juneteenth. This was, I guess this, this didn't even go the way I wanted it to. If P was here right now, he would be highly supportive of what I've done and how I took today's session. Um... Look, if P was here, he would definitely let you know the final wording. We didn't even get to go through all of this because it you there's so many things going on. It feels like we're playing three Grand Theft Autos in one and they've all accumulated. And I even get to talk about the PlayStation 5, right? Um, it's beautiful, very big. It's going to be a very good race between PS5 and Xbox Series S, which is coming out with another version of it. Anywho, <laughs> that's crazy. Like, I literally am looking at the time, and I'm one thing I'm work, one thing that's changed is the respect of time. Look, when it's time to go, it's time to go. But understand this this coronavirus. There's Oklahoma, Tulsa. There's the riots of Tulsa where they slaughtered the Black Wall Street. White people, KKKs, got jealous. A BS lie story about a black dude and a white girl, how it always ends up. They went to this prosperous black town that was prospering on its own, saw how prosperous it was, got jealous, burned it down, looted, stole all of their things. Burned it down, looted, stole all of their things. Trump is was planning to have a rally, his first rally in Oklahoma. Ha ha. All of his Trump supporters are happy. Cool. I'm happy that y'all happy. Coronavirus, Oklahoma is very high. 
look it up and I'm over right now just about we'll look it up really quick Tulsa uh Siri why you do this to me you're so consistent all right Tulsa Oklahoma Trump is having a rally there he's already threatened people who are going there against his people saying hey you're not going to be treated nicely probably don't believe me but you're probably going to see right here look and it's right here and as he said any protesters anarchists agitators looters or low lives who are going to oklahoma please understand you will not be treated like you have been in new york Seattle or Minneapolis it will be a much different scene one thing that I've learned from the Bible you shall reap what you sow and if P was here I think he would he would respect that but um, in the meantime it's your boy Zocartier. It's the lookout. Pay attention to what's going on. There's a lot of things going on. Google is your friend, not an enemy. And we'll be back. In the meantime, stay up. Uh, we got a president. We got a protest that's about to be going on tomorrow after Juneteenth that he claimed that he didn't know about and that he also claimed that he made famous. <sighs> what a time to be alive. It's your boy Zocardier. It's the lookout. I'm out.